Coming up, Kazakhstan intends to attract new investors in the development of deposits. The government is in the process of reviewing contracts and licenses issued to subsoil users. Stay tuned! Kazakh composer creates music for Hollywood trailers. Tigran Papazian shared his formula for how to succeed and be in demand at the international level. Communication without translation. Witness how Kazakh and Korean use find common ground. Shortly in our News Digest. The Development Bank of Kazakhstan will be more focused on financing large-scale and capital-intensive investment projects, as well as industrial production. They will have long payback periods, as well as be of strategic and economic importance for the country. Plans to reform the financial institution were discussed today in the government. This was reported by the press service of the Prime Minister. DBK should focus on financing the creation of new production facilities. It is necessary to continue work to improve the transparency of activities, optimize and digitize business processes and expand access to the bank services. Alihan Smailov, Kazakh Prime Minister. Kazakhstan intends to attract investments in exploration and development of deposits. Now the government is conducting systematic work to revise contracts and licenses issued to subsoil users. Thus, in the course of the analysis, the authorized bodies identified 148 contracts for solid minerals and 27 contracts for hydrocarbon raw materials with low fulfillment of obligations. Contracts with them will be terminated and the deposits will be put up for auction for transfer to new investors. Due to this, experts say the inflow of investments into the sphere of subsoil use will increase, first of all, on the development of deposits of solid minerals. An underground mining farm has been identified in the capital of Kazakhstan. The Department of the Financial Monitoring Agency said that it was illegally connected to a power line. Equipment for mining the digital cryptocurrency Bitcoin was found on the farm. Here, since the beginning of November, more than 20 million tenge have been mined and cashed in digital cryptocurrency. Inspections of digital mining facilities are now being carried out throughout Kazakhstan. In five days, mobile groups identified and stopped 13 mining farms with a total power consumption of more than 200 megawatts. The facilities were in Akmola, Karaganda, Pavlodar and Turkestan regions, as well as in Nur Sultan, Almaty and Shimkent. Two regions of Kazakhstan remained in the red zone for the incidents of coronavirus. These are Almaty and the North Kazakhstan region. In general, 627 new cases of COVID were detected in the country over the past day. Almaty is in the first place. 203 people were infected here. Then comes the North Kazakhstan region. There are 72 infected and the Kostana region closes the top three. There are 64 cases. Since the beginning of the pandemic, the number of coronavirus cases detected in the country has exceeded 1,299,000. According to the Ministry of Health, most more than 32,500 Kazakh residents continue to receive treatment for coronavirus. More than 4,000 are in hospitals. Over 8,932,000 people in Kazakhstan have been fully immunized with two components of the vaccine. Hong Kong authorities were unprepared for the coronavirus outbreak, which led to chaos in hospitals. Doctors expressed their indignation at the situation. There is not a single free place in state medical institutions. All wards are overcrowded. Since last week, patients began to be placed in the parking lots of hospitals. Even though it is cold outside, the temperature is around 14-16 degrees above zero. This situation arose because the authorities urged people to go to hospitals at the slightest symptom. And in Hong Kong, everyone is hospitalized, regardless of the severity of the disease. Now we have been asked to place all the patients in the wards, but it is just moving the problem from the street to the indoors. So the situation we are facing is that many of the confirmed patients are now being placed in regular wards. A 
About 200 protesters against coronavirus measures were detained in the capital of Canada. Law enforcement officers managed to push the protesters away from the center of Ottawa. Dozens of cars were evacuated, but small groups of demonstrators and their cars still remain on the streets. The operation continues for several days. The day before, the police organized in Ottawa about 100 checkpoints to prevent more demonstrators from entering the city. Protests against coronavirus restrictions began in Canada at the end of January. The initiators were truck drivers. We know that these unlawful protests have been difficult on everyone in our community. This has impacted residents and communities right across Ottawa. We promised earlier this week that we would clear our streets and give them back to our residents. We promised that we would return our city to a state of normalcy. At this time, checkpoints remain throughout the city. We continue to advise unlawful protesters that they must leave the area immediately or they may face arrest. Another 15 all-season recreation centers will appear in the North Kazakhstan region. It will be opened in the resort Imantau Shalkar zone. Now there are six of them. New measures of state support have come into force for the development of tourism in Kazakhstan since January. Subsidies are provided for entrepreneurs for the construction and reconstruction of tourist facilities. Applications for reimbursement of part of the costs are accepted until March 1st and apply to facilities introduced this year. Это субсидирование возмещения части затрат на строительство э, и реконструкции. There are subsidies for reimbursement of part of the cost of construction and reconstruction of tourist facilities up to 10% of the cost indicated in the expert conclusion. The second is reimbursement of costs in the amount of 25% for the purchase of tourist-oriented motor transport. The third is reimbursement of costs in the amount of 10% for the construction of roadside service facilities. And the fourth is subsidizing part of the cost of maintaining sanitary and hygienic units in the amount of 83,300 tenge per month на содержание санитарно-гигиенических узлов в размере 83 300 тенге ежемесячно. Artisan Center opened in Uralsk. Now in one place, everyone can get unique knowledge on all types of national applied art. For example, Aydenbek Imangaliev gives master classes in hand engraving on leather. The tenant master knows that in addition to tools, craftsmen should be talented with accuracy and patience. Aina Gulhalukhaza teaches the full craft of felting. According to the craftswoman, the felt is a work of art where centuries old experience and artistic fantasy converge. We have a lot of ship's wool in the villages. Many products can be created from this source material. This is our spiritual wealth, our culture, folk craft. Ahead is the task of taking over and launching a large-scale production of our failed products. I believe that if you have a skill, you must definitely teach it to others. We have open master classes where felting, weaving and tapestry lessons are held. Drawing the pattern is already a separate art form. It can be stated that the demand for our products is growing. We hope that with the opening of the center, interest in traditions will awaken. <laughs> The new artisan center employs 20 craftsmen. All of them are ready to teach their business to others, if only there was a desire and intention. According to them, their main task is to popularize the cultural heritage of the Kazakh people and the rich national color. Kazakh and Korean youth held an online meeting. Kazakh students met with the students of the Korean University of Foreign Studies, organizing a teleconference, which was dedicated to the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries. Young people talked to each other without interpreters as they study both Kazakh and Korean. It was decided to hold such online meetings twice a month. I really enjoyed this meeting. I'm surprised that in three or four years, Korean girls and boys have mastered the Kazakh language so well. They speak a literal language. I wish them success and express my gratitude to the Embassy of Kazakhstan for organizing the meeting.
breathtaking music. While we are hungrily watching promos for new films, there are others behind the scene painstakingly working on making the next ones. One of them is our compatriot Tigran Papazian from Petropavl. Today his name is already known to many in professional circles. His portfolio includes tracks for trailers of such films as The Last Warrior, The Root of Evil, Sobibor, The Karamora TV series and many other sensational films. The young composer is already the author of music for commercials and Hollywood movie hits. На моем официальном сайте как бы все работы мои собраны, ну почти все можно. All my works are collected on my official website, and there you can calculate if it's interesting how many films and games I have in total. I have collaborated with almost all big companies, including Warner Brothers, Sony, The Walt Disney, Universal Pictures. Sony, что там еще есть? Universal. At the age of 11, Tigran started to pursue music and it became a source of inspiration. He says that while you are still an unknown composer, it's not easy to receive proposals. Therefore, he advises the young people to put own efforts to pass through hardships. Я сам написал человеку, который занимается выпуском трейлерной музыки. I wrote to a foreign label that licenses music for American films. They collect catalogs of trailer music and rent them out to their clients. I create music for catalogs, which are then used to create trailers. And then, when I had made a name for myself, Russian trailer makers began to contact me. The composer is sure trailer music allows you to develop in any genre and experiments provide invaluable experience. Today, Tigran Papazian has already created 25 pieces of music for over 50 movies.